Me le voy. Ahí. Yes! Hello! <clears throat> Vlog time. Ooh, that's bright. Yeah, so those first few clips all filmed on my new vlog setup. I didn't know it was going to be that bloody windy today, but anyway, um, yes, first first video of the year. I know it's the 18th of January, but still, we are in the first month of the year, so it's all right. Um, as long as it's not a couple of months down the road, that's fine. First video of the year, so yeah, how are you guys? Happy New Year. Um, hope you had a good Christmas. Hope you settled into the new year fine. And yeah, I'm here at the park. Testing out my new vlog setup. God, it feels so good holding a, a smallish camera and not having your arm dying. But yeah, apologies if the uh, wind noise and all that is absolutely atrocious, but um, I haven't quite sussed the mic with this camera yet. I put the Rode Video Mic Pro on um, and you can set the audio recording level and all the decibels and stuff like that. I don't know if this sounds at its optimum yet, but yeah, let me know. I'm still fiddling about with that. So if it's a bit off, uh, I do apologise, I just wanted to get out first sunny day of the bloody year um, and get filming with this thing. Let's take a seat. Another thing with this camp, with, um, sorry, the mic, uh, it's so freaking big on the top. I don't know if you saw my like B-roll shots before this, um, but you can see the little dead cat bit, fur bits coming down in front of the screen, so I will get a new mic. Um, Rode do like a micro pro or something. Jesus, look at these bad boys. Huge. Yeah, I was saying, um, Rode do a little smaller mic that goes on top of there, which is red. Um, that'll work way much better because I'm using the 10 to 18 on this camera, um, which I think was the best kind of lens to go for if I'm going to use it as a vlogging camera, particularly for these tough videos I'm filming right now. Let's talk more. But yeah, let me talk about 10 to 18. Now, way back when I was a Canon user, I used to use the Canon 7D uh, Mark II with a little 10 to 18 lens by Canon. It was like an STM, really good autofocus and all that. Um, and that was a good setup, but the only thing, it was really heavy. The lens wasn't that great. Well, it was, it was a cheap lens. You can get it now for about 100 quid, I think. These aren't branches, this is the mic. Yeah, it wasn't. Well, it's, it was a cheaply made lens, really, and the one on here, um, it's got metal inside and it's much much more robust and durable. But the thing is, when I had that, that's the only camera I had, right? It was for photography, it was for videos, it was for visuals, it was for er absolutely everything. Um, and then I decided to transition to Sony. This is going back, I think it's a year now, yeah, January, last January 2017, Christmas 2016. That time was the transition from Canon to Sony. It's been a year now since that happened. It's been such a long process because I wanted the full frame. I wanted better video capabilities. I wanted 4K and all that stuff. Um, and it has paid off. I've made a lot of videos and they've generated a lot of views and stuff and you guys loving them. So that's good. But yeah, it kind of put my vlogging on hold. Um, I don't remember the from the Maldives vlogs. I was using my A7R2 much heavier than this, and I actually rented a 24 to 240. I mean, that was absolutely ridiculous. It weighed probably about 700, 800 grams. And that lugging around was so heavy with this tripod and the mic, it was just getting a little bit ridiculous. So it put, it was all right, I made the vlogs, but they weren't kind of at my best, if you know what I mean. I didn't, it's not that I wasn't happy with them. They weren't, I could have done better, um, if you get what I mean. 
but yeah. So it's kind of put the vlogging on hold because I haven't really had a, a good, easy, decent setup which I'm happy with. And I think that's important um, for any photographer, any, any creator who makes videos or has a camera. It's very important to be comfortable with your setup and get on with your setup. It's like your friend, it's like your best friend. So the vlogging side of my channel kind of went straight down. And um, yeah, and for this year, I want to pick it back up. So that's why I've got a new setup. Oh, shut up. So that's why I've got a new setup. The Sony A6500 with a 10 to 18 lens. I mean, not only is this camera a good vlog camera, it can do so much more. I mean, it's basically a mini a7S II or A7R2. Um, 4K, image stabilization, 120 slow-mo, HD, all those kind of things are in the camera. Uh, 20 megapixel, but it's an APS-C size sensor. So although it's not full frame, um, the reason why I'm going to use this camera, the majority is for the video. Um, Sit-down videos, 4K, like my Lightroom stuff, Lightroom tutorials. Um, also visuals, uh, this camera is very, very good. Um, it's plastered all over YouTube. Um, people using this camera with Sigma lenses, um, using them on Zion cranes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really excited to, to get going with this camera and, and use it. And the vlogs are going to come back. I want to make really decent, good, high quality vlogs. I love how easy this camera is to hold, which is more comfortable. And I think that as well comes back to getting on with your camera, getting on with your setup. Um, it kind of makes you want to create more and the equipment is kind of not holding you back, if you get what I mean. Does this sun look cool behind me? Getting some rays out there. Look at that blue sky, stunner. I just look back on all, a load of these shots and this mic is so annoying. The, like the fluff is hanging down. I need to um, sort that situation out. It's so good to be filming on a um, 10 to 18 lens again. Uh, we've got F4, got image stabilization in there. Good focusing system is really, really good. And even if I zoom into 18, um, it's pretty good. It's not too um, intrusive. It's a good vlogging angle. Which is so, such a good focal length for these types of videos. And, which means having a wide lens, the angles are... It's great because you can get angles like this. Angles like this. The angles... Oh, bangers. Look at this chaos. These goose. Geese, are they? I don't know. Oh, wow. Look at all these guys. Bonjour. Hello. Okay, run away from me. Standard. All right, guys. How are you doing all right? Hello. Yeah, okay. See, I needed a camera which was smaller than this, lighter than this, but better quality and more options than this. So it kind of fit right in the middle of these two. And these, all of the good thing about all of these, they can do all 4K and all slow motion as well. So yeah, I mean, so my setup now, my a7R2, I mean imagine vlogging on that, that's ridiculous. This is the only lens, I've, proper lens I've got for this camera. Um, and a Canon 50mm and a Sigma 
the APS-C lens, which I don't really use for uh, my YouTube stuff. Um, that's the new lens I got. So this one is now primarily going to be for photos. Um, so when I'm vlogging, I can just whip this out. Don't have to change any settings, just have all my shoot settings in here for photography. Bam. That's good. This little guy is for kind of spontaneous moments and things. If I don't have my other camera, I always have this with me. If there's anything I need to film when it's kind of not a filming day, if you get what I mean. So, and this still does the high frame rate, which is really, really cool. The 960 FPS, upscaled to 1080. Um, I did a video on this, where it's like a visual video. If you haven't seen it, go have a look. Um, awesome things that this can produce. So it's still gonna keep this photography, odd moments. So yeah, it kind of works really. The only thing I need now is a new microphone. Right, I need to get my hair cut. Oh yeah, I used to come here quite a lot, but they've um, cut down all the trees. I'm not sure if I'm meant to be in here. But anyway, let's, um, let's get out of here. Right, heading to my haircut now. I'll see you in one, two, one, one second. Right, I'll see you in one, one second. back at home. I'm yeah, very pleased with this. If you guys didn't catch what I'm using, this is the A6500 by Sony. 4K, 20 megapixels, APS-C. It's got 10 to 18 on it, that's what I've been using all day. Wide angle lens, love it so much. Really excited to use this guy. I need to get a new mic for it though, and try and cut these stupid things off that um, Sony insist putting on their cameras for their neck strap thing, or the shoulder strap. Um, I think you can take them off without breaking them, but I haven't figured out that yet. Um, yes, yeah, so guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It's just my introduction to this year. First video of the year. I know it's a bit late, but at least we're still in January. Um, yes, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's about it. A load more videos to come. I've been jotting down a load of ideas and stuff um, this week, so they should be coming out. Yeah, a lot, lot of cool content to come, a lot of different content, Lightroom tutorials, load more with this and also iPhone 10 videos to come and a lot more other things. This guys hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.